Hello, everybody. <laughs> Here's Michael Mock. I live in North Carolina. So, Happy New Year 2023. Today, bring you by the light of the poor, sad lady. Her name is Buddha, and she is 30 years old, live in Cambodia. And her husband left her five months ago, and she lived with her mother-in-law. Her mother-in-law earned a little income. She worked at the local farm, received about 20,000 real. It 4,000 real exchange to be US dollar is one dollar, five dollars a day. And her daughter-in-law, just her son just left her five months ago. Right now she is pregnant, but before she used to work in uh, the factory, but they received a little money, a little income. It's so poor in Cambodia. So uh, right now, Putak and Putwood, they do charity work in my team. But he at Cambodia, but I, I live in the U.S. So like I told you uh, every video um, about my life back there, it's so much poor. But right now I'm here, got everything here to helping them. So Putak and Putwood heard from the villagers telling him about this family so poor and then he went there to interviews uh, what is going on what is their real life about what her 30 years old with the pregnant and her husband left live with her mother-in-law and how they like how they make their living and then Putak and Putwood went there uh, used to go every village that he heard from uh, people that where the poor cannot afford uh, for their living. So, but right now I've got some donation from uh, Mrs. Re. And thank you very much for your help and donate to help the poor people. To help a little bit, but it's not much because we just do like, a, as a team, it no community, no anything. We just uh, having a hard like feeling. So sorry for them, want to help them. So we just uh, make a team. Uh, two of them there, and one of them here, like me, Michael Mark, uh, to helping them. So um, let's go to see how is her poverty life in Cambodia. Let's go with me, uh, with Putak and Puwat, to go her home and interview her. How is her life? <laughs> Hello everybody overseas and in uh, Cambodia, how everybody doing? You already hear some that I mentioned about her real life. I heard from the villagers about her life and not sure where is her husband going. Please come with me, I will interview her about her real life. It how is her real life after her husband left her. You already heard some about her mother-in-law and her life, how they earning the income. Especially I'm here, I heard about her life, her husband left, and in the future, if she delivers the baby, what she going to do? She's so poor, didn't have any money to interview her and what is your name? My name is Wuta. And how old are you? I am 30 years old. Where is your husband going? I heard you going to deliver the baby soon next month. Yes, I am. My husband just left because he had another girl. He just left me. How long ago did your husband leave you? It seen I was pregnant three months, but now it's eight months, it's five months ago. He just left? Yeah, he never come back. He just go to get another girl. He never think about me. I just by myself. 
what are you going to do when you deliver the baby if you have no job and no money even your mother-in-law cannot afford it yeah i used to work in the factory before i should afford myself but now i don't have any job because i'm pregnant i cannot work anymore and other way no job available around here either the company is just closed and right now do you live with your mother-in-law yes i live with my mother-in-law why don't you live with your parent where is your parent no i can't because my parent passed away and then my parent live in this uh, provident too did your parent have any land or any house No, my parents so poor they didn't have anything. That's why I live with my mother-in-law. Futak asked her mother, How are you? Where do you from? Yeah, I'm doing job right. I'm from work. How far is your work? Yes, yeah, just nearby. Just not so far from my home. And how much do you earn? I earn about 20,000 real. And can you afford it for your life, for your daughter-in-law they're going to deliver the baby well this income so low I cannot afford it uh, because I work every day and my daughter-in-law cannot work because she is pregnant and my son just left her I do the best I can but uh, it it hard for my life I don't know what else to do. I just try to work harder to get a little income to support myself and my daughter-in-law. And my daughter-in-law when she going to deliver the baby. And how many children do you have? Oh, I have five children. And where they are? Yes, three of them left because they got married and two of them stay with me and they work in the factory. To talk to her daughter-in-law, yeah, if you pregnant like that, then how many months you pregnant now? Eight months, yeah, since I pregnant. And what you going to do when you don't have husband to take care of you after you deliver the baby? I don't know what else to do. I will ask the villagers probably help me get some food, some clothes, and some money because I'm so poor they already know my husband left me. Yes, everybody will know because I'm pregnant. I cannot work and they will support me the best they can and because my husband already left me. Putak said, yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. It, you are so much precious and too much sad and too much stress in your family. And then your husband left you too and you couldn't do anything about it. And that's why I'm here to help you out a little bit. It probably helped to release your stress and pressures and sadness and this hard situation. I will try my best to help you out on this situation. I know it's hard, but I don't know what else to do, but only do my best to help you. And make your life living a little better, but I will uh, take this video and put on YouTube and probably people can hear it and people can see it. They live in overseas, maybe they can help you out and make your life a little better. Because in Cambodia, it's so poor, no job available either. And after you deliver the baby, who going to watch your baby? Because your baby is so little, they need the mother care. And here, it no medical care. There's no any network to help you out. I'm so sorry to hear that and I just do the best I can and help you out and with Puvet and with uh, Michael Mark that live in the United States and probably our channel post on your story it probably they want to help you because they feel so much 
cares and so much sad and about your life. You already hear about her life and her mother-in-law. Who talk at her last question? Do you have something to say to all the people about your life and you need help? Yes, I would like to say. And right now, like I told you, my husband left me, and my mother-in-law just work in the local farm and just get a little the income. And then even myself too, I cannot work because I'm eight months pregnant, and my husband left me too. I got no support, and don't know what to do in my life. And my baby going to uh, come to this world, and so poor baby, and myself poor too. I don't know how to start up my life. Only uh, you out there hear my voice, and I shout out for help. If you hear me, if you see this video, please help me to start my business. About fifty dollar and a hundred dollar to start my new life. It should be enough to start up with the local business. Probably I can sell something like vegetable, fish, or something else, and to help my life getting better and break through from the poverty life and help my 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 and help my little baby for the next generation. Uh, I have no hope it too much despair in my life. Cannot make a difference without your help because $20 is a lot of money. Thank you, Mrs. Ree, for helping me out right now. And if $50, it makes so much difference. If $100, it's so much appreciate and thank you. It will change my life. I just will try to work hard to take care of my baby and myself and my mother-in-law too. She get a little older and older and I have to find some way to make my life better if, uh, with your support. $50, $20 or $100, I will try my best to find my local business because it sounds like a flea market or I can walk through uh, village by village to sell whatever I have to start with the $50 or $100. And thank you very much and you guys have the best way for 2023 New Year. Uh, ការសួរនាំខ្ញុំបានពុតតាក់ទៅកាន់បងស្រីបាទគឺមានតែប៉ុណ្ណឹងឯងក៏ខ្ញុំក៏ជួនថប្បការមានថប្បការបោះអំរ
vậy tới tây nam miền là kê sơn la nhận đất rosi để thắp cả cọp chẳng muốn chẳng hạn bọn ông cô này sống mau bị bom ổn chui đang nhom phong bụi nhom mãi vậy tới tham mãi còn mãi đây bụi đây dân hội chào dân hơi ai sống lại bom ổn chui nhom phong để thắp vạc hàm trà ơn làm rập cá sòng để lễ sống lại bom ổn được kéo tới mãi sống lại chui nhom phong mau mình bị lấy sao đấy mình mà You know, for the tale about her life, their life, how they live, a poverty of Cambodia, live at Cambodia. So I really appreciate and thank you very much for your help. If you would like to support, please click notification bell and subscribe my channel, my work. And if you would like to help, just please share the video when you see it. All right, that's all about today. Stay tuned for every 6 p.m. at Central Time will be posted to public at YouTube channel my work and you guys can uh, watch it or you want to help just please leave the comment and we start it from there so thank you very much and happy new year 2023 bye bye now